What's going on champs and champets, it's FireMonkey here, and we've recently gotten an update on the whole entire Apple v Epic situation once again. As you guys recall in a previous video, I had actually talked about how regarding the whole situation, they were just kind of like, meh, you know what? We know that you're going to try to put your app on the App Store and everything, or, you know, put on your own store or whatever on the Apple devices in the EU. But at the same time, you know, we think that your Git button, your install button, I think it's too similar to ours. Your in-app purchase notification pop-up, too similar to ours, you know? So we're not going to accept your application. We talked about how it was kind of ridiculous that this whole entire situation is going on, however we got a new update regarding all of that shortly after I had actually posted that video, and come to find out Apple decided after, you know, Epic Games kind of went public with their information being like, hey, you know, Apple's doing this stuff, they're not approving it, that they were just going to be like, you know what, actually, we're wrong. You can go ahead and approve it. So the whole entire situation, the whole entire video the other day was basically uh, ended up being a nothing burger, right? Because it was about a situation that during the time the video was posted was an ongoing situation but afterwards became something that was like quickly changed a few hours after being uploaded but I still want to make this video to kind of talk about the whole entire situation in general and talk about the power of the internet right because I don't know if the internet was the reason that they ended up being like you know what actually this is fine or if they ended up just going back on their own statement because they realized hey you know actually we don't have a problem with this but it is something that we feel like would have been a whole entire different situation had Epic Games not used their newsletter account in order to tell us what was going on with the whole entire return of Fortnite in the Epic Games Store on the actual iOS devices in the EU. And I think that, you know, in my personal opinion, if this had never happened, right, we might still be in the situation where Fortnite on mobile is just more of a whole entire unknown no man's land zone where it's just a rumor, right? It, it's a myth. It's not even real, but it's something you hear about time and time again. And it's one of those stories you tell around the campfire at nighttime, you know, when you're when you're out camping with your friends and everything and you're trying to do like some horror movie night type of thing but you don't have any movies or projectors or anything else, so you just sit around the campfire and start telling scary stories. It seems like the whole entire release of Fortnite on iOS devices in 2024 is one of those horror movies out there. It's one of those mystical creatures that shouldn't exist, but apparently does at least in the storytelling sense. And I definitely think it's an interesting situation, but I'd love to hear in the comments down below, what do you think about this whole entire return of Fortnite on iOS when it actually does end up happening? Are you excited for it? Do you wish it was in more places than just the EU? Do you think this is going to mean that the old versions of Fortnite that are on the Google Play Store, you know, if you have an Android do you have the old Google Play Store version, or the old version that is available on iOS in the US is going to break when the EU stuff gets fully updated, or do you think those will still be around? And just overall, why does this even have to exist, right? Why is this a whole entire situation that we have to talk about time and time again? Because it feels like this is the most consistent part of Fortnite news, and by consistent, I mean it's been going on for years now, and it's one of the topics that even if Epic Games changes over and over again, Right? Even if Donald Mustard leaves, comes back, leaves again, Charlie Wynn leaves, comes back, leaves again, whatever else is going on with the creative side, even if they fire absolutely everyone and get a whole entire new team to work on Fortnite, it is the one thing that I feel would never change, and that's the whole entire battle between Epic Games and Apple, and it's just the interesting situation overall in my opinion. But yeah, a whole entire update regarding that whole situation is just hey, Apple, Apple is like, hey Epic Games, you know what, your app store, it's fine, you don't have to worry about anything. Thing, but that only came after, you know, their tweet started getting a lot of traction and was getting reposted around by a lot of news accounts and everything else. And it's something that I'm wondering if it was something that influenced their decision of being like, hey, actually, this is fine. Or if it's something that didn't influence it at all. And they were just like, you know what? We actually realized we were being too harsh with our ratings. But I do feel like there has to be some sort of bias, right? There has to be some sort of bias going on at Apple, considering the fact that we know Apple is not liked by Epic and Epic is not liked by Apple. So I feel they're going to be treating Epic Games harsher than normal just because they want to give them a rough time on actually trying to get their place or whatever else you want to call it on the Apple devices so that they can go ahead and have it you know stripped from what it was originally visioned to be and made into something that is going to be a lot smaller than what they originally wanted to do and by them I mean Epic Games right so it feels like Apple is just trying to see how much they can get away with by getting Epic Games to do these slight little micro adjustments here and there before they do anything else but until next time hope you champs and champions enjoy today Today's short little news video. If you did, consider subscribing to support the content I create, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another upload. Peace out.